Asteroids are ancient witnesses to our solar system. NASA came across an asteroid and discovered something completely unexpected. Asteroids are mysterious objects. They are witnesses to the origin of life, but they can also wipe out our civilization in seconds. What would happen if one of these celestial bodies were to collide with Earth? Would we really be able to defend ourselves? Or are our governments lulling us into a false sense of security? To prevent the unimaginable, NASA launched the DART mission. For the first time, mankind succeeded in pushing an asteroid off its course. With this success, NASA has made history. The course of an asteroid was deliberately changed so that we have hope of saving our species in an emergency. If an asteroid several kilometers wide were to hit the Earth, a large part of the Earth would be devastated within a very short time. Consequential damage and the opening of the Earth's crust would completely change the rest of the planet in the following days and weeks, and we humans would possibly be history. Exactly that happened 60 million years ago. With the impact of the Chicxulub asteroid, the dinosaurs disappeared from the Earth forever. Humanity must do something if it does not want to be wiped off the face of the Earth one day, just like the dinosaurs. The next big asteroid will come. That much is clear, and in the face of this cruel certainty, we must all use our technological capabilities to build an active asteroid defense. Around a dozen probes from international space agencies and nations have already visited asteroids and comets. The Japanese Hayabusa mission provided groundbreaking information and even samples from the asteroid Itakawa between 2003 and 2010. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission collected samples from the asteroid Bennu in 2016 and is currently on its way to Apophis, one of the most dangerous asteroids to date. ESA is also heavily involved in asteroid and comet research. The Rosetta probe reached the comet 67 p cherimov gerasimenko and even deployed a lander there. DART was the highlight of the mission so far. The probe slammed directly into the surface of the asteroid Dimorphos and pushed it out of its orbit. DART, the pioneer of asteroid defense. It sounds like a sci-fi scenario, a massive probe on a direct course to an asteroid to change the fate of humanity. DART, NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test Project, did just that. It may sound a bit over the top, but this probe could actually save our lives. The threat is not imminent, but it could happen faster than we realize. If an asteroid appears on our doorstep, we may have only a few hours to prepare. DART's successors could one day save our lives. The lessons learned from the scientific precision and technological innovation of this mission are already history and one of the cornerstones of our asteroid defense. Why is this mission so important? And what unexpected insights did the collision with Dimorphos reveal? The story of DART shows us in a frightening way how narrow the line between threat and protection can be. The path of the double asteroid redirection test was clear. The expensive probe was built to be destroyed. The asteroid Dimorphos was the target, and it was clear that DART was never intended to return. The mission was launched on November 24, 2021 at 1.20 a.m. local time from Space Launch Complex 4 at the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The mission type was officially planet protection by a kinetic impact. In plain language, this meant that the DART probe was to influence the asteroid moon Dimorphos in the Didymus system by a direct impact in such a way that it would be pushed out of its orbit. In an emergency, this would be the best strategy for defense. The reason why this method is considered the most effective by experts is simply that only a kinetic impact can change the course of an asteroid so precisely and controllably without increasing the risks. In stark contrast, detonating an asteroid could cause us more problems than solutions. The explosion could break the asteroid into many smaller fragments, and these still highly dangerous objects could then rush uncontrollably towards Earth. An alternative plan in an emergency is to tow asteroids using probes. In this approach, one or more space probes would dock with the asteroid and slowly pull it out of the collision path by means of continuous thrust. This method is also theoretically effective, but would require extremely precise calculations and long-term planning to be truly successful. What is certain is that, if push comes to shove, 
we will have to change the trajectory of potentially dangerous objects so that they do not hit the Earth. The good news is that this could be achieved with just a few meters. The earlier we discover the asteroid or comet, the easier it would be to change its orbit with little effort so that it can no longer pose a danger to us. To come straight to the point, DART was so successful that there is hope. For the first time, the orbit of an asteroid was successfully changed by a kinetic impact so that we would be safe in the event of a real threat. Impact successful, a 100-meter-high column of dust and debris. It was as quiet as a mouse at NASA when DART slammed into Dimorphos at a speed of 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. Experts and governments around the world were connected to witness the miracle themselves. At first, nobody knew whether the impact had really achieved what was expected. A 100-meter-high cloud of debris obscured the view. DART's camera was filming until shortly before the impact, but at the moment of impact, the image was interrupted. To document the impact after all, the Lycia Cube probe, launched in 2022, was traveling with the spacecraft to this unique event. The Italian Space Agency had contributed the probe to document the impact even after DART had already been smashed to a thousand pieces. The probe filmed the entire impact from a safe distance. The images show the 100-meter-high cloud of dust and debris. The impact, in which the probe thundered onto the surface at a speed of around 22,000 kilometers per hour, initially swirled up so much material that the entire asteroid became invisible. Tension remained high in the NASA Control Center for a while. The only thing that was certain was that DART had hit the asteroid. However, the importance of a probe hitting its target with an accuracy of several meters should not be underestimated in the case of active asteroid defense. Initial data from Lycia Cube and the many telescopes that observed the impact from Earth soon revealed the incredible. After thorough analysis, it was clear that the kinetic impact had changed Dimorphos's orbit far more than originally intended. The asteroid moon's orbital period was shortened by exactly 33 minutes and 15 seconds. It was clear that this mission was not only a complete success, but will be the basis of our planetary protection strategies. To this day, the data from the Italian probe continues to provide valuable insights that help scientists better understand the dynamics and effects of such impacts. To fully exploit the mission, another probe will be launched in the fall of 2026 to visit Dimorphos and its partner asteroid, Didymus. This mission is being organized by ESA and will collect detailed data on the internal structures of the asteroids. A lander will examine the impact site in detail and document details of kinetic tracks and chemical changes on the asteroid. How much time would we have in an emergency? Isn't it frightening that in the last 10 years, two asteroids have emerged out of nowhere and caused damage that could not have been foreseen? The tricky thing about smaller asteroids is their small size. With an estimated diameter of only a few meters, they often remain invisible even to the best telescopes. One such asteroid exploded over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, destroying thousands of windows with a shockwave. Hundreds of people who rushed to the window at the unusual noise were trapped they suffered lacerations and many houses were damaged. This asteroid was only a few meters in size and yet caused extreme damage. Can you imagine what an asteroid the size of a detached house or a football stadium could do? The Chicxulub asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs about 66 million years ago probably had a diameter of around 15 kilometers. When such a hunk of rock races through the Earth's atmosphere and hits the Earth's crust with a thunderclap, the effects are apocalyptic. The Chicxulub comet hit the water, which slowed it down a bit. However, the impact triggered a huge tidal wave that went around the whole world. The time we have in the event of an asteroid impact depends crucially on the size, speed, and distance of the celestial body. Larger asteroids can be observed years or decades in advance if their orbit is known. Nevertheless, the reality remains sobering. Experts estimate that only about 40% of near-Earth objects with diameters over 140 meters are currently cataloged. And these objects can be pulled out of their known orbits and on a collision course with Earth at any time by gravitational shifts within the solar system. The object Oumuamua, 
was also an alarming warning. The approximately one kilometer wide object, which has not yet been identified in more detail, only attracted the attention of astronomers when it passed the Earth at a close distance. Oumuamua was so treacherous because it did not absorb any light. The lump could have hit the Earth. The transit distance of about 24 million kilometers is ridiculously small in a cosmic context. What if we discovered an object of this size only hours or a few days before impact? The time we would have left would be so little that disaster would be unavoidable. Will Apophis destroy humanity? Anyone who names an asteroid after the Egyptian god of chaos and destruction knows what he is dealing with. The asteroid with the official name 999-42 Apophis was first spotted by an observatory in Arizona on June 19, 2004, and then quickly became the focus of science and the public. The confusion and discussions about Apophis have changed several times since then. Is this asteroid the next one to hit the Earth or not? After its discovery in 2004, astronomers calculated a 1 in 37 probability that Apophis could collide with Earth on its next flyby on April 13, 2029. This number sparked concern worldwide. Apophis has a diameter of about 340 meters and an estimated mass of 27 million tons. A collision would have released an energy of 1,200 megatons of TNT that would be enough to devastate an entire continent and cause massive damage worldwide. Further observations improve the orbit calculations, and the risk of an impact in 2029 could initially be ruled out. However, it became clear that Apophis 2029 will pass unusually close to Earth. It will approach to about 31,000 kilometers, and thus it will come closer to us than many satellites. If Apophis 2029 passes through a key area of 600 meters in diameter, its orbit could be changed so that a collision would occur only seven years later. In 2021, NASA presented further calculations and the probability of an impact in the next 100 years was finally ruled out. Apophis was taken off the warning list, but remains under observation, and we now already have a probe on its way to Apophis. In a few years, the OSIRIS Apex mission will bring rock samples of Apophis back to Earth so that we are prepared in case of an emergency. Knowing the exact composition of the asteroid can help to design a dart-like probe to push the asteroid out of a collision path in time. During Apophis's flyby in 2029, a number of space agencies will launch missions to study the asteroid in detail. Subscribe now and don't miss any new videos.